he should be going along with what we're just, I don't know the exact name yet. It's Shop Talk, but it's going to be either <clears throat> by Luano's Barber Lounge yeah. or presented by Luano's Barber Lounge. Yeah. So I say, like, start it and say welcome to Shop Talk. You should start it. It's your show. You should slide in just a little. Right, I know it's not super comfortable, but the closer you get to that mic, the better, the better it's going to be. Hey, guys, welcome to Levano's. No, welcome to, okay. Now, nah, start it. You want me to start it? Yeah. I'll start it next time. But I think, <laughs> I think no, because I, honestly, I, I don't have, like, an intro that I, like, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jim, is this recording ready? It you sure is. Cool I can stop at any time. No, no, that's good. Hell yeah. You All got right. a badass. Because so, I think Oscar's already got a pretty good intro to that. Yeah. Sit your butt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Shop Talk. You want me to stop this and start it over? Nope. All right. We're good. You want these outtakes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's going to be the main part of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, the whole thing's outtakes, really. <clears throat> All right, so ready? We're ready. ready. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to Shop Talk. My name's Oscar Lovano. I'm co-owner of Lovano's Barber Lounge. Hey, I'm Jim Lutis. You may know me from Business Casually Podcast. And I'm not as smooth as these guys, but I'm Chewy from CR Films. Chewy, I think that's a lie, man. I, I think, think you're more smooth than we are. Yeah. We seem to stress about this a little bit, and you seem super cool with everything. Seem chill. Well, that's usually because I'm behind the camera, and now I'm in front of the camera, which is what makes it a whole different ballpark. Does that make you uncomfortable? Not at all. Not at all? See? You're Actually, cool. it makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah. But you see how I played it <laughs> off a little bit? Yeah, I like it. See? I don't think it worked. No. It, <laughs> Oscar's it did, loving right. this, though. Right. Oscar, why'd you bring us here today? <clears throat> so... um. We always kind of from from maybe a couple months back we or you know what actually no um, maybe a couple years back we always decided to do or we wanted to do something um, different and this was always kind of a talk but we never really got the chance to do it when uh, we actually did our interview um, that kind of gave me a little bit more confidence to be like you know what like it's not as hard or it's not as um, it's not as difficult as um, I thought it was. I'm like, we did it. Video is it's it's a little bit different, but it's not that much different from the from the voice, just the voice. Um, so I kind of just figured it would be a cool thing to do. It really boils down to how much editing you want to do, right? Yeah. So should I keep talking? <laughs> yeah, you just keep talking, and we'll edit that all down to like a minute. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll keep it. No, Oscar does, Oscar does a really it's good job at uh at speaking. He just thinks he he. He doesn't, but... Yeah, don't psych yourself out it, about it. It's the, it's the beer. I swear to God, it's the beer. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> Chewy, I would like to get you on my podcast just to like, find out all about your life. Oh, yeah. But since we're here... We'll learn, we'll learn a little bit about each yeah, other. Yeah, let's learn just a little bit about each other. Yeah. Feel little, free. Ask me any question you want. I want to ask you the question I wanted to ask you a few minutes ago. How old are you? Uh, how old do you think I am? I think you're probably older than you look. Most I think you look like you're in your 20s, but I bet you're in your 30s. 31 to be exact. 31? All right. That works. And the fun fact about that also is my birthday is on Christmas. Really? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> to, to you and baby <laughs> Jesus. I probably, honestly, I probably forget. I'm not going to lie to you. No, yeah. Most, bad, people, most, people, most people forget. Most people will be like, hey, Chewie, when's your birthday? And I'm just like, I already told you this. Like the most easiest birthday. Facebook's the best way to remember. Yeah, that's the birthday. only way. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, did you get gypped on birthday gifts? So the beautiful thing about that is uh, what I tell people now is it's not so much. It wasn't so much about the gifts. Um, it was so more of having family around the whole time. That's because true. Because for birthdays, mo most of the time people, you know, they, they have to, they got a, a lot of other things going on. So when Christmas comes around, you know, people take the time to slow down. And I remember as a kid always having family around, even if it wasn't necessarily for my birthday specifically, but it just made it, memories made it that much greater. Yeah, man, that's pretty rad. To having family around. What day is your birthday, Oscar? Uh, mine just passed. It was uh, January 30th. Okay. 1994, I'm 27. 1994? I 35. My goodness. Everyone relax. I'm only 27. I was in high school when you were born. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> it sounds bad, but you, honestly, like, you don't even, you don't even look... Uh, you don't even look your age. I feel like um, a lot of the times, just maybe how you carry yourself, that's a little kind of what shows maybe your age and stuff. But 
you think because I carry myself like a child uh, yeah, that, I, that yeah, I don't yeah, look I forty, think. almost 42? <laughs> I, think like, <laughs> I think it's the energy that you ha- you bring. Oh, yeah. That's you think so? Yeah. Funny thing is, and I told you this the other day during my haircut, is I started going gray just in the last two weeks. Silver Fox. That's right. Silver Fox. Le- leave it up to yeah. Oscar and give you a cool name. I'll be the Silver Fox. Yeah. It's the gray dude. Yeah. I like it. I, everyone, like, when they come in and they talk about the gray... Everyone always, like, makes it look like it's a bad thing. But, like, the funny thing is, like, nowadays, everyone, like, even, like, like teenagers, they want to go gray. So yeah. It's, like, the new the new style. That That's, like, a straight-up big thing for ladies. Like yeah, lady, yeah, yeah. Like, young ladies in their yeah. 20s have straight gray hair. Like, yep. I don't get it. it. Dude, honestly, I think it looks dope. Yeah. A lot of people think it's, like, I don't know if I, I'd rock it, but, like, you start seeing, like, like well, I mean, you were bar- well, I'm a barber, so... You kind of notice, um, you kind of notice like all the little small details. Like that's what gives that person like character. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or like their own like style. I would say too. Yeah, I mean, you got your own style. Basically. Anything I could do to distinguish myself as an adult, finally, since I'll be 42 this summer, that's fine. Oh, so your birthday's coming up? Not till July. That's like July 12th. Months away. Like I mean, I guess everybody's month. birthday's Every technically day. coming up, right? Once it passes, you're on your way yeah. back to the next one, hopefully. 42. Forty two. Do you have any uh plans for your birthday? Nah, man, forty two is not a, a number. For real? I mean it is a, a number. Like, like, I mean, literally. Technically if you had two plus two equals forty <laughs> and four. Technically forty two is a number, but it's not like a milestone. It's I think like, we might be on vacation during my birthday. That's dope. Yeah. Where do you guys have like, like I think we're gonna go to Colorado this year. Mm. Colorado? Yeah, I've never been. Dude. You been? I have. Yeah. But uh, we probably can't say what you should go do in Colorado. On no, nah, we'll probably do a lot of hiking. Yeah, there you go. Maybe a Rockies game, something like that. The hiking, do the mountains. Plus, going to places where you haven't been before is always a beautiful thing. That's just it, man. We were, like, talking about where we want to go. And my wife and I are like, okay, where do you want to go? Mm-hmm. And it's always somewhere we haven't been. You know, kids always want to go to the beach. Yeah. Or I yeah. know people who go yeah. to Disney World every year. Not me, man. I want to go somewhere that I haven't been exactly. yet. So I gave my kids, I think, four or five options, like Seattle, Colorado, Boston, and San Diego. I haven't been to any of those places. But I'm like, all right, rank these. Let me know where you guys want to be. What about, like, like out of country? You guys don't go out of country? Like, you, like you've never been to, like... <clears throat> Did I tell you my story about Mexico? No, uh, you haven't. I don't, know if I'll, if, I don't know if I'll offend you with okay. my story about Mexico. <laughs> no, you're good. I feel like I'm in with you guys pretty good. No, you're I th- good. I, I'm you down. like Pacifico. You told me that. When you, uh, oh, man. Uh, the hair, when was it? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. yeah. You like uh, Pacifico. That's the first person that <laughs> isn't Hispanic that tells me right away I like Pacifico. That's like, dude, that's badass. I, I, like I got to fully admit, because otherwise my kid will call me out for it because my son was here getting a haircut too. I told that story like six times. I'm like, I am in with the culture. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I Dude, am in. That's dope. Pacifico? Yeah. <laughs> got you, got... Wait, you got... it's... No, I already drank it's the okay. Pacifico, though. Dang, that means you like it. I do like it. I'm not kidding. One, It's funny. Okay, Chewy. So I'm getting my hair cut, and he says, would you... We'll probably get some food and beers. Now, you and I know that we never got the food. But we did get a couple beers, right? We'll get it after. We'll get it after. <laughs> All right, we'll get some after. But he goes, what, what do you like? I'm like, I don't know, man. What are you thinking? Like Mexican beers? He's like, yeah, yeah, Mexican beers. And I'm like, well, what do you like? I wanted to test him out first. And he goes, Corona. I'm like, okay. So then uh, Temo. I yeah. call him Timo. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Everyone like, it's okay. <laughs> all right. Timo, so I call him Timo, Timo, so Temo. I said, don't care all right. I said, Temo. I said, Timo, but should have been Temo. <laughs> what do you like? He's like, Pacifico. I'm like, that's me. I like Pacifico. And then this guy goes, so like, this guy goes. <laughs> would you like... <laughs> Go to a place like a liquor store and buy Pacifico and then like take it back to your house and drink it. And I was like, well, that's kind of how that, works. that that's how that works, right? Like, I asked him that? You did. That, those are literally, that's an exact quote. And I was like, yeah, man, that's how I would get it. And he goes, oh, man. <laughs> I got excited. I got, you, know, I got excited. You, you got him all hyped up. He did. And I was like, oh, I felt like I, that's the best thing that's happened to me in two months. For real? <laughs> For real. Did it feel cool? Like, damn, it did I'm feel I'm cool. In. I was like, I am yeah. in. Yeah. No, yeah. that, that I, I'm actually gonna, not going to lie. That was my first time drinking it. So it was, oh, for it was real? pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, no, I, I, I stick with my Corona or uh, just with my Corona. See, like, I'm uh Not COVID. Not COVID. No. I like right. to be different. You know, like. Oh, yeah. Grew up, like, I'm a Sox fan, right? Because, like, I don't want to be a Cubs fan. I, whatever's slightly different. Different. Right. Yeah. 
So I'm like, oh, oh, Pacifico is not like. That's kind of a. No, but it, it is like no, Corona. That, that's, but just, no, that's that's definitely a reach out there, though. That's definitely a different. Yeah. You, you didn't just go from Corona to Modelo right. or anything else. You went right. to like a like. Yeah. A brand that not many people don't. I don't know even know. Of, dude. I think. I think it came from college. I think maybe my brother when he was it's in college. It's so random, dude. I never like, hear that. I can't even really truly remember why why I started drinking that. Dude, that's crazy. No, and the funny thing about that, too, I have a friend who uh, I visit him in college a lot, and I would always bring Coronas. He'd be like, yo, you can't bring Coronas. Like, that's too that's too fancy over here. Yeah. For a college party? For a college yeah, party. Right. And I was like, well. Everyone looks at you like. Yeah, like, oh, this guy's got guy, money. Yeah. That's the guy you <laughs> rob later on. <laughs> And I was like, well, if I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink something that I want to well, drink. Well, absolutely. You should. Dude. Totally. So one thing I wanted to know is how did you guys get hooked up? How do you guys know each other? You want to tell them or? No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you no, go no, ahead. No, you're good. Because no, you just go. Just go. You're good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, originally I was getting my, my uh, hair cut in, at a different barbershop and where Oscar used to work at. And uh, basically. Shout out Platinum Fades. I'm going to throw them out there because that's like my second home. Nice. And uh, so so that's where I Oscar I got to meet Oscar from there. He was the barber right next to the, where I was getting my hair cut. Oh. And then. Uh, and then my the buddy bench. Nick, he's dope. Yeah. Shout out oh, Nick. yeah, for sure. Love you. He, uh, and, then, and, not, and then eventually Oscar opened up his own shop. And yeah, ever since the very beginning, basically even from the grand opening is how we uh, stayed connected. And. Uh, a little fun fact, when even with Oscar, was uh, I was telling him that um, with just in, in general social media, you have to keep reposting and, and sharing stories or just showing, like you don't necessarily need someone like me who has the like the nicer pictures, the nicer video. You have, you to, have show, to education you, too because you, 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 ha- went to, you went to school. You have to show people like behind the scenes of like right. opening up the shop in the morning, even if it's like, you know, six o'clock in the morning just to clean up the shop or get things ready. People enjoy seeing that kind of stuff. And Oscar definitely took that advice to the next level because he literally, like, I'll send him, like, a, a picture, and he'll screenshot it and post it right away. <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, just give me a second. I'll yeah, send you the real yeah. stuff right away. Yeah, I, I get I get hyped, like, especially, like, seeing, like, like I've told you when when I met you uh-huh. and you reached out, I was like, dude, this is dope. Like, yeah. I thought, like, you probably, I don't know if you, like, felt it because, like, I read people and, like, I can feed off, like, Oh, I felt like, it as soon as like, we vibe, met, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, um, once you start talking to someone, you kind of re- like like hear what they do and then like what they like to do. You kind of see like, damn, like that's what like hair is for what it is for me. That's what's hair for them. Like that's mm-hmm. their passion or their fun or their hobby. And like, I always think it's 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 really dope to kind of just see um, those people and say like us, you know, either collab or. However you want to say it. It's really um, bringing two arts together. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. basically, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Like, with this, this is an art, man. Like, how, if you believe it, or if, you know, whatever. I don't feel like much of an artist. I just slid You're these like things to where they You're need. like a DJ. I'm, I, I got some pads here that have some sound effects <laughs> if you want them. It's definitely more <laughs> in, <laughs> more more art than I, I know how to handle. Oh, there, there's so. no way. No chance. Not, not but I mean, you do the video. Exactly. So you have to have an actual eye for what looks good. Exactly. The audio, because the audio really comes in, uh, it's its own art itself. If we were even talking about like podcasts or even music itself. Engineering. Exactly. All, that's like it, it literally, because you could have someone just throw it together, but like even just tweaking a little bit of this or moving this together, that's what kind of brings it to life and kind of so, keeps the, 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 the vibe or like the, the whole flow of everything going. Same thing with the haircut. Yeah, I mean, I I know nothing about haircuts. No, and the I'm most and the most important <laughs> thing I tell them is like, we're not. This is not a video to show how to do a haircut. This is a video showing off your skills to show off like how focused barbers get when they're cutting a hair. Right. To us, like we think, ah, oh, you know, fifteen minutes, you, you you're you're done. But like they, you you hear them go, zzz, 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 and they keep going in one little spot, and you're just like, how are they getting so much <clears throat> cut in right. that little area? But then once you turn around and you see the final product, that's where the masterpiece. It's like, damn, that's why they took forty five minutes. <laughs> right. Well, exactly. we like, talked about this the other so day. <laughs> right. For sure. Dude, everyone looks at their phone like, bro, come on. I'm like, just relax. Once you see it, you uh-huh. like it. You're, you know what I'm saying? It don't make it worth it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, and that's, you, and you that's, don't know. Go ahead. But I used to cut my own hair. 
Oh, I up think, until like, dude, he did. He actually did like, a good job, dude. It was. I mean, I did it for a he long. He got time. different terms and stuff, but he knows how to get down with the Clippers. <laughs> I'm telling you. That, yeah, I think I think everybody cut their own hair at one point. Yeah, but I cut my own hair till like 20? three months ago. No, but how many years? You said you took like twenty three or you told me it was for the most part. I mean, yeah, a long time. I mean, oh, my whole adult life. <laughs> not be, not because you said you don't want to spend money, but because you said you enjoyed doing it. Yeah, right? yeah. No, he no. <laughs> no, no. At first, it was I'm not spending. At that point, yeah. it's like I'm not going to cost cutters or whatever yeah, whatever yeah. place yeah. and spending 25 bucks or whatever like nah i could just buzz this myself so, and, and how i does just, it, I just got it, used to it and how does it feel now that you someone else is cutting it for you i look a lot better Besides, i mean i'm never gonna look good because this is always gonna be my face oh no dude you guys but, got cleaned up i didn't even get cleaned up well that's, that's why you wore a hat no, yeah no one looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted the video yeah, true i'd be fine just audio but no it actually feels good because people will see me and they'll be like i oh, got a haircut it looks good yeah Nobody used to tell me that before. <laughs> People actually tell you that? They do. They do. A hundred percent. I was really feeling my do when I walked out of here the other day. Oh, for real? Yeah. 100%. And that's usually that's it usually good. how how it goes too. Yeah. I feel like everybody whoever gets a haircut, they um, that's how they feel. Is is you should right? Exactly. If you, I mean, and I'm sure there are horror stories. Some people walk out like. Oh, not here, of course. But they walk you, out and they're like, "Oh, that's a terrible haircut." Do you guys want to hear hear one from from back in the day? Let's hear. I do. So, all right, Luis Estrada, don't hate me. I love you, bro. <laughs> but so when I was first starting out, like this is before the shop. This is back when I was uh, just doing it as a hobby at my mom's house in, in the bathroom. And uh, my buddy Luis, he uh, he came in for an early haircut. And I don't remember. It was when I was in high school. I don't remember if I was hungover, if I was just super tired, or if it was just an excuse, you know, like I just messed up. But basically, I did the whole haircut, and a lot of like, his, like nowadays a lot of people do it now, it's more common, but it's basically like they get a lineup, right? And it's, it just makes everything look sharp, it kind of follows and just cleans everything up. So, if anyone's ever seen those videos where someone lines you up, and... The line's, like, halfway, like, LeBron style. <laughs> Dude, it was bad. Like, I don't know how I started. I don't know if I, if I fit it. I don't know what happened. But basically, I went up, like, an inch, dude, on his hairline. <laughs> He's, dude, that guy, God bless his soul. He's super nice. Didn't say nothing. A couple, a couple days later, he he, uh, he texted me, hey, man, like, uh, I don't know if my hair's just growing. He's, like, <laughs> trying to, like, not blame it on me. He's like, I don't know if my hair is growing weird or, like, whatever. But basically, can you just check out my hair? And I'm like, bro, I already know. Because he, it's not, and not even just that. He has a very small forehead. He has a lot of hair. He has a lot of hair. Oh. So like, even pushing it up a little bit is is a lot. Yeah. And so, um, I ended up, cut, dude. We gave him like a super, not like a pit bull. Yeah. But um, we gave him like a, a basically a super short um, buzz cut, and you know, ever since then, he honestly. Probably till this day, he doesn't let me line him up. But, um, the, you know, the, that's like, like you only your, got one shot. Yeah, I mean, that's your that's your humble beginning. So, like, if, if, if you uh, if you mess up or, or, or if you don't do as best as you could do, like, even still that to, to then, you know, so now um, you remember those moments and you gain experience, you gain knowledge, and then you move forward. You, you either grow from it or you, you know, you could you could fall and break down. But you just got to move past those, look back, reflect, and uh, just keep it moving. So. And I think that's a good lesson to learn, too, is that, like, you definitely have to make mistakes because if you don't make mistakes, then how are you going to learn from them? Right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's definitely in any... It sucks because it brings, like, your... I feel like your pride or, like, damn, like, you know, I did that. But then again, you have to... you ha If you're strong-minded... Exactly. Well, you you will learn... Like, I've talked to you about this, yeah. where when stuff, like, doesn't go my way, and you're like, bro, it happens. Like, you're like, you just have to know that tomorrow is a new day. Exactly. And you got to keep moving from it. So. Yeah, absolutely. They're all learning experiences, exactly. right? Like the, I also sell real estate when I'm not doing podcasts and getting haircuts. But hey, I need a house. Maybe it's <laughs> not a show. <laughs> I will hook you up soon. Soon. Um, but I mean, the first say even year yeah. of real estate. Oh yeah. If that was as good as I got, and I never got any better at doing that, that'd be bad, right? Yeah. My first five podcasts were not as good as my last five. Right. Yeah, exactly. Just anything. You're always improving. Always getting better. 
And I think that's the main mentality that you're supposed to have. Because even like with myself with videos, like there's videos that I love that I've done. But then I also know that like before every video that I do, I try to like keep this mentality of like, all right, let's take it to the next level. Right. Because it's like if, if you keep on producing the same type of video, then people are going to get bored of it. Exactly. So it's like and um, so it's really just learning from your mistakes or also like, OK, I already know how to do this. Let's do something a little bit more different. Just a little bit, even just a pinch of whatever difference that you bring to the table is, is what gives you a learning experience for making you better at your craft. How so long have you been doing videos? Can I, can I interrupt you guys yeah, for, like two, for one second? This is your hold, show, man. Hold, oh, yeah, I know, right? I own, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Daisy, Daisy, dude, Daisy, she's going to be like, hey, you got you to gotta give me a shout out because okay. if not, for she, sure. Daisy wanted to be here, guys, but honestly, uh, she's like, I don't want to steal the spotlight. That's she right? didn't want to make us look boss. worse than that's we already look. That's the big boss. Like, if you guys <laughs> that's what she said. Right? Mm-hmm. No, I'm just no. <laughs> but, but basically, um, um, I was talking. To, I was talking to Jim about you, and honestly, what what's the first thing you told me? You're like, dude. You're like, oh, honestly, yeah, you're like like haircuts. You're like, oh, you know, everyone talks about haircuts and stuff. But he's like your social media. Mm-hmm. He's like, what? Or actually, you you, you tell him. What yeah, a hundred percent. So like haircuts or whatever. At the time, literally up until maybe three months ago, yeah. four months, something like that. I never paid for a haircut, right? So I could give a crap about a barber shop. Mm-hmm. That's great. There's barber shops. There's hairstyle mm-hmm. salons all over the place. It was your videos and his social media. I don't even know how I saw maybe the first one, but once I saw it, I'm like, dude, this guy's got like a, a straight up actual like MTV style, <laughs> like promo video yeah, to promote his shop. I'm yeah. like, that's cool. So I'm like, I'll follow this. That's neat. And then I was like, man, they, they just keep putting it out there and out there and out there. And I was like, so it truly is your videos that led me to ask him to come in and, and chat on my podcast. And the, the easy thing really about that is <clears throat> it's just highlighting what he does. Right. Because, I mean, everybody else, I was actually just thinking about this, too, because it's like if we could be doing everything we're doing now, but if no one records it, you, it doesn't mean you're Capture not doing moment. it. Capture the moment. It doesn't mean you're not doing it. Right. It's just so Capture it's just moment. so much that no one's really recording it. Yeah, we try to monetize it. So I mean, as much as like that, that's exactly what I try to do. It's not necessarily that I'm trying to build a brand or anything. It's just more highlighting the brand itself, and that's what that's why it's so easy to do what I do because it's like uh, like it'd be a different story if I'm trying to fake uh, or hype up a brand itself. Really, is just highlighting the bringing attention to the brand itself. Oh, that's a really good point. But we're at like twenty four and a half minutes. In case we want to take a pause right here, we'll definitely take a pause. Break for commercial, and yep. we'll be back in a few. Is that good? Yep. Yeah. I go. I love you guys. Thank you. It's all gonna be f- fine enough, dude. This is like, dope with the with the with the headphones. It sounds like right? it hypes me up. Right. Well, I, I was missing out. I was missing out. You were. I was were. missing out. People are going to tune back in for the second half of this after your commercial yeah. and be like, oh, he went <laughs> to the headphones. <laughs> that's, where, that's where I messed up, but all right, we got it. All right, you ready? Ready. Yes, sir. Let's rock it. Ready. All right, so now that we're back and we got Oscar figured out with his headphones. He's one of us now. Yeah. Thank you for having me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I showed up. So, Chewy, how long you been uh, doing your, your video production? Video I've been doing for about four years now, but I started photography when I was 17 in high school. Okay. And uh, and I think one of the best ways to describe that is, I didn't even know, but one of my friends who does uh, video, he when I told him that I started doing video, he saw some of my work, and he's the one who brought to light that because of photography, is it actually has helped me like frame my video better then you're just average person who just starts doing video in general. So that made a lot of sense to me that I had a, at least an understanding of how to frame a, a subject or whatever was being recorded. For sure. How do you think I'm framed tonight? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I bet. This, this, guy's, this, guy's, this guy's tipsy. We definitely put I, Oscar. I, I have put two beers down. That, that was the cap, though. That was the cap. So oh. we're, we're lightweights. Yes. And... Uh, no, yeah, Oscar definitely knows how to treat his guests properly. Correct. Every every time, he's like, "Yo, yo, bro, I got you some food. Here you go. Here you go. Eat up." It's cause like I I don't know, bro. Like every time I like meet someone, um, I don't know if it's like the Hispanic side. It just I feel like it's 
um, you're well mannered. Like mm -hmm. it's like you want to kind of invite someone and you want to kind of have them feel like they're at home. And anytime you go, uh, I don't know if you've had any Hispanic friends like as growing up or something. Guess my first. Sorry. Oh, seriously? No, no you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> but like growing up, like it was just you come into someone's house and you know, hey, do you want something to drink? Are you hungry? And that's just kind of how it goes. And you definitely don't go home. Uh, uh, empty stomach empty. or yeah, you're, thirsty you're, or nothing, dude. That's a little bit like the essence of your shop, too. Not that you guys give food out, but like that you walk in here and you just, everything is cool. It's chill. You feel like you're you're just in your friend's house. Thanks, mm -hmm. man. Honestly, um, I know I, I didn't, or she wasn't here today, but everything with the shop, I honestly have to give the utmost credit to my girlfriend, Daisy, who's actually um, my partner for the business. Um, she has an eye. Like, people, um, like, I when we first opened, I just kind of, not that I wanted to throw everything up there, but I really wanted to, like, um, I didn't really think about, man, like, I'm going to be sitting here, you know, am I going to like that tomorrow? And right. she kind of, like, thinks about it, and she looks at it like, I tell her, like, she looks at it like a, like a, a designer or something because, like, um, even the colors, even um, where something's placed, she's like, this looks too cluttered. So um, I give the credit for, like, the atmosphere and everything, you know, with the shop that everyone always gives us credit for. I give the credit to her, so Daisy. You know what I hear when he says that, Chewy? Like, we should probably do this a couple days from now and just have Daisy and not him. Be oh, we definitely should <laughs> yeah. have Daisy in this. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not the, I'm not the important one. No, here. we definitely <laughs> should have Daisy in this, and she, she would yeah. do great. Um I think no, she just wanted to see how this one ran. Without a doubt, though, what, what the beautiful thing about the shop in general is, like, it's a complete change every time. Like, when you come in Thanks here, there's guys. something new. Appreciate you. And, and what I told him, too, was that, like, he uh, he's always, just as much as he's always, like, showing off stuff on social media, he's always upgrading things around the shop. Like, even just the flooring around here, this wood backing, backing wasn't wasn't here from the beginning, right? This is No, no, no. This one was... Um, but, like, the, we got extra things over there. The floor was different. Uh, we, the walls we had, were different. Yeah. The ceiling was different. This was, here from, this was here from the beginning. We did add this. My buddy Jeff, he actually was the one with all the metal signs. Uh, yeah, shout out Jeff Little. Which is, um, which is one of, the, like, the most centerpieces of the whole room. Yeah, in, in dude, when we, since we first opened, the wood background, the, the pallet wall, but 60 the, pallets. But the 60 logo pallets. itself. 60? Yeah. We, uh, fun fact. Um, we had 60 pallets. Uh, one one of my old, well, yeah, I haven't seen one in a while, but um, one of my customers, he um, he had a warehouse that he was like a supervisor for, and we got 60 pallets. And my buddy uh, Sam, he cut them all up in front of the, the shop. And everyone's like, what's, what's going on with all the pallets? And 60 pallets, man, he picked and threw away and scrapped and made each specific piece go where he wanted it to so oh, it give, i give good. him a lot of credit for that man yeah it came out really good thank yeah. you guys yeah, appreciate right. you guys and then there's there's been times where i stop in at 8 p.m 9 p.m and he has people working putting little shelves up making sure that the whole everything's looks looks pretty good um yeah well but it's like it's like anything like well, like where you guys go or where you wherever you guys work or wherever you guys are at even your house whatever it is that you're going to spend most of your time at. Oh, well, yeah. No, actually, you guys don't spend most of your time at your guys' houses, but uh -huh. even though we'd like to. <laughs> um, but like, you want to make it like, damn, man, I, like I actually enjoy coming here. You're going to be there for most of the day. It's going to be your second home. So you well, might even well. like this cloth, you got this made really quick. And you're always like, it could have just been a regular table, but you went out of your way and you made it, you know, a nice little cloth. Yeah, thanks, man. It's just, you it's got details. Hats. We're, we're, we're you talking got, about that. Details. Uh -huh. yeah. You got t shirts. Yeah, if you guys need merch, um, we're still actually doing uh, uh sorry to interrupt you. We're actually still doing a, a fundraiser for my mom. So all the shirts, um, all merch um, uh, proceeds are going to her recovery funds until she's able to go back to work. She's doing good. Thank you guys all for asking. Um, she's actually doing really good. The kidney, as of right now, everything's been working out. Um, but uh, sh all, the, all the merch proceeds are still going to her. If you guys have um, a couple extra bucks to spend, um, we'd, 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 uh, strong, we'd highly appreciate it. Um, and yeah, man, just thank you guys for supporting us and for, um, being a part of even of this. So thank you guys. I got a question for you, Oscar. What's up? Where do you get your drive from? What do you, what do you mean? Like all, you? All, all this, <laughs> all this, all this energy that you always have. So, cause there's days that you say you're tired, but then you still have energy. Um, man, 
I don't know. I I think I have like ADHD and stuff. So that's where like half the energy. Co- I swear to God, like um, my <laughs> mind's like it's hard to sleep sometimes. But I do sleep a lot, which is weird. Um, but man, you know what? It's just about. It, it's kind of like from all the people you're around. Like if you have a lot of people that are positive or are doing stuff, and like you feel like you see a lot of good things coming, you kind of feed off that. I, I think I talked to you about that. We uh, you kind of feed off that energy and you uh you you get some of that energy and you put it into whatever you want to do and just you just keep going you have to keep like you said trying to outdo yourself or keep trying to do better or go the next level so i mean you just kind of have to keep having that that uh that drive to to um progress so jim i got a question for you all right what made you start the podcast all right your podcast my podcast started because um, I had a guy in my office who wanted to do a podcast with mm. me and I didn't know what it could be about. So we kicked around some ideas of like, uh, maybe it's about the White Sox or baseball. And I'm like, nobody cares what we think about that. Then I'm like, okay, we are, he and I are very 180 degrees mm-hmm. opposite politically. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, well maybe like you take your side, I take my side, but then we show that we're still friends at the end. And I'm like, nobody gives a crap about that either. I'm like, what would... What is what is the underserved market in mm. podcasts? So wait, you did it and you failed? No, 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 no. I was just brainstorming. Oh, like, what, are, what are some ideas? On, okay. No, we didn't do it. And I'm like, what is what is not out there? And like, I kind of had an idea for like a Tonight Show mm-hmm. of Grundy County, or better suited, like a miniature Joe Rogan of mm-hmm. Grundy yeah. County. Yeah. You know, because like long form interviews. Tonight Show is only going to give you like. I don't know, 10 minutes of interview time or something like that. But I'm like, people of Grundy County, business people specifically, mm-hmm. business casually, so how it started. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> there's, there's not an outlet for them. Nobody from Grundy County is going to make it on Rogan. Or, I mean, unless they, like, do something super crazy. Or eventually they'll make it on their own. They could. They might. They could. They could. They might, but not today. Yeah. So first they got to exactly. stop at business casually. Exactly. And then when they hit it big, like this guy. Then they could be on Rogan. <laughs> and then you'll have the first in a, a podcast with that guy. Yeah. Or girl. Absolutely. So, yeah. Totally true. I like that. Yeah, for sure. You're catching the underdog before they make it to the top. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it really kind of started out as like almost a, not really a, but kind of a public service. Yeah. Like, hey, let's highlight local business exactly. people. No, yeah, that's you good. You know, like... Uh, it caught, dude. Honestly, caught my attention right away when I heard yeah. it. I was like, dude, no one's doing this around here. Didn't I tell you? Right. I tell mm-hmm. you, because you're not. Chewy's not from here, so I literally told him, like, bro, like, um, I just. Well, you. We, we were talking about it um, through social media and stuff, mm-hmm. but I was like, dude, I'm doing my first show. I'm super nervous, but it's pretty dope. I was like, because, um, like, like you guys said, it's not even. It's not a Joe Rogan show, but still, it felt like in our little world, our, our little bubble. Like, this is what's happening around. Uh, locally right and it hyped me up honestly right. so i'm i'm happy i met you and is like i said it was it was something that no one had done before so um i just caught my attention yeah man innovators yeah chewy where do you live uh i live in to be specific in rockdale it's a small little not even a town it's it's, it's, it's a village it's like a street it's, a, it's, it's one it's one road <laughs> but like when you say like Chewy's not from around here, I'm thinking like, oh man, he must have come from really far. No, Rockdale's yeah. not that far. No, like Mex- not like that Mexico. Far. It's it's like a 20 minute drive. He just got here from Mexico. <laughs> and, and uh, no, yeah, that was a good one. It, it, was a good it, one. Best joke of the yeah. night. Uh, Sorry, Chewy. Was, I had the, to, the, bro. the real good joke was the one that you weren't around for. Yeah. Yeah. We got what you was that? Good. You'll, you'll hear that later. We'll hear that later. Yeah. That's not gonna be edited it out. Don't worry about it. No. You guys are wild. Let's keep the show rolling. Right. Well, we'll not make it. We'll talk about that later. You guys are wild. So, what are we gonna talk about next, guys? Who wants? <laughs> you tell me. You steer the ship. Um. So, when I asked you about uh, doing the show, like for us and helping mm-hmm. us with this show and being a part of this show, yeah. what were like? What were your initial reactions? Like, what do you think? I thought maybe I'd get some free haircuts. Um, <laughs> Damn, ha- that hasn't happened yet. Not yet. You paid for every single one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for supporting us, man. We got the pe- right. hey, hey pizzas come on, here. Come on in, pizza man. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Did you bring your mic? Hey, did you bring your mic? Yeah. You're supposed to. The camera's right there, no, bro. No, you got to no. say. Tell them where you're from. Tell them where yeah. you're from. Where's the pizza coming oh, from? Uh, Maria's. Maria's right down the street. Right, right in Morris, Illinois. Maria's Pizza. Great place. Great prices. I love it. I love it. Thanks, bro. Uh, how much? 27 for you. All right, cool. 
and then the change for you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Hey, Have say, a good one. Tell them, tell them who you are, and just give them, give a little message real quick. Uh, if you're in Morris, Illinois, come stop at the pizza shop, Maria's. We got good uh, dinner, good Italian food, and great pizza. Uh, my name is Noah. I'll be there. Um, I hope to see y'all there. Sweet. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Noah. See, Noah. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Have a good night. Can, can someone get the place? Because we haven't ate all day. Well, Jim, Jim made that uh, obvious that uh, I, I had him fed. <laughs> That I promised to feed everyone, and I didn't feed everyone. You guys want to see it? Oh, yeah, that pizza right, Check it out. Good. Pepperoni. Honestly, dude, I used to get a lot of different kinds of uh, toppings, yeah. but lately, just straight pepperoni is super fire. I <laughs> swear to God. Look at it. <laughs> Usually the way that. to go. All right, guys. Dig in. You, I right, think, I got the place. Yeah, you, you get the first pizza because me and Jim, we, we probably ate before we came here. So what's going on, Jim? But uh, what did you do tonight? What before you came here? How do you showing houses, man? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Stopped you, at home real quick. Said hi to my kid. You were uh, you remember the picture you sent me? Honestly, I, you were actually like, like you actually prepped everything before you came. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, you were prepared for every single like, well, I didn't engine cord. Like you had it. Different mics, different colors. Like you were actually getting detail. I never even honestly, dude. I never even thought about. Co- coordinating yeah, this green no. cord to that green light. No, but yeah. honestly, like that's dope. Uh, that's kinda, dope. What's what's one of the biggest surprises with the podcast that you were not expecting? Like, ooh, that's a great question. You want to know what the biggest one is? And I'm going to sound like a whiner. The biggest surprise is how hard it is to get guests. Mm. Like I've got to beg people, and it's not even so much the, the oh. equipment itself. No, like yeah. no. I mean the equipment. Like I said, uh, there, I'm gonna grab a to, pizza, guys. To me, Sorry, there's guys. not much of an you guys are taking form, too long, right? Like, Sorry, guys. You get this stuff dialed in yeah. when it sounds good, yeah. as long as you're not backing away from yeah. the mic like some people do. Like it's yeah. it's go. good. Like that, grab the equipment one. doesn't. You have like two, so we don't gotta. You think people are three. just afraid to be on the grab podcast? Three. Yeah, I think people just don't like me mostly. <laughs> you should, I don't know if it's about <laughs> that. I three. think people are just scared to be on the podcast. They are. They absolutely are. Um, I've actually had some people tell me like, Hey, my anxiety would not work. Look at for that, that cheese. That was some good. That was a good pull. Yeah, it was a good pull. Okay. Yes. Can I leave the pizza out like that? Is Go that ahead. cool guys? It's already been out. So right, I mean, I think Maria's is going to have to uh, give you a little, we're going to have to have a Maria's commercial right yeah. there in the middle. Maria's pizza. I mean, from, from what I hear, I hear it's the best pizza around. Maria's is it. a solid pizza. Honestly, um, for me, we grew up on it. So like. Um, oh, yeah, because you were... Yeah, we're f- family and, friends. We're family friends. But, so. but you were born and raised here in yeah, Morris. Yeah, yep. Born, born and raised. Uh, my parents, they... I, I said it on, on your show. My parents came from... Uh, it, it was a town. Both of them were born in different places, but they were raised in this town. It's called Del Chique Tabasco, Zacatecas. And um, they came over here when they were... I think my dad was like maybe like 16. He came over here. And then uh, my mom, she was... She, no, no, he was 18. And my mom was like 16. And uh, they came over here. They only had my brother over there, and uh, yeah, somehow we popped up. Yeah, they. Had, I don't think they were watching TV or something. So, yeah, you know, they had a little, a little fun, you could say. But uh, but yeah, man, born raised here, twenty seven uh, years here in, in uh, Morris. Um, for the most part, man, um, I love it. I love it. Small town. You 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 know everyone, um, and I feel like if if you. Um, you're a social, you like to talk to people. Um, there's, there's generally good people anywhere you go, any town, um, you know, any state, uh, you just got to find the right people that, that, uh, mesh with you. And like, like you guys, like we honestly didn't even know each other. And, you know, eventually you start talking, talking to each other, having a beer with each other. Um, if you haven't bought a koozie, I work harder than a stripper, than an, than an ugly stripper. Can we censor that one out? Explain that. Explain that one a little bit. Um, so or should we not? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know if you want to explain that. I think it's self explanatory. Yeah. yeah, basically. Yeah. But, uh, but I thought, you know what, with these, I thought it was just funny because, like, everyone, I honestly, I never used the koozie. Yeah. No. I never used the koozie. And I heard a lot of people, uh, dude, like, especially people around here, everyone, they want to, uh, they collect them. Yeah, they, they collect them. Mm-hmm. They collect them. It doesn't matter where it's from. It's like it's like a, a pin. It's like that. So we just thought, let's throw something funny. If people like it, they like it. If they don't like it, then, I mean, it, it was a go, you know? Yeah. 
you the only uh and that's the beautiful thing about what you do is that you always you're always thinking about the next thing and if and then you don't even like worry for if it's going to succeed or not it's like no. I mean, already, at least you tried. You already did it, and yeah. it's it's out there. And if you don't, people don't like it. Cool. Next thing, we're gonna work on the next thing, and um, and it's even like with the logo itself. Like I even the day that you showed me the logo, I told you that it was sick because it's so simple, but it's it's so um, people will see it and be impressed by it. I've you know I've I've told you before too where I where I'll wear the hat and people will be like, yo, where's where's that from? Like what what logo is that? And to me, the first thing that it's comes advertisement. to that, well, the, to me, the first thing that comes to mind is it's working. Yeah. yeah. Like when it when that first thought comes, like whenever they say, "Yo, where's that logo from?" Then I can go and uh, and explain where it's at, where it's from, and it's exactly what a logo should be doing. Where it's like instead of someone just sees it and then they go on upon their day and they don't worry, they don't ask that question. And that's the beautiful thing about. And not to mention, you even got logos for your dogs. <laughs> Dude, those dogs, man, they're, honestly, we, we, we got them. We didn't even really, like, we 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 didn't really think about having them here like that. Um, and it was just so easy because both of us, um, sorry, I think I spit on your food, dude. Just okay. kidding. I'm, I just got my second shot, second <laughs> micro ship show. It was on this arm. Yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, it was on this arm. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we didn't really try to have them, like, here for, um any specific reason and i actually like it worked in our in our favor because um we were able to keep them here but it, it would also entertain um our guests mm-hmm. like people people had fun people come here honestly and, like i kid you not people come in here just to see the dogs sometimes they don't get haircuts and i'm okay with that you know why because like if they if they don't come they're eventually gonna come or and, I've, and I've seen it too, where they ask for the dog right away. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. But people like it. It's part of the, it's part of the atmosphere, oh, yeah. and it's like, oh, it's that one shot with the dogs. Oh yeah. But before before I keep going, uh, I already took a bite of my pizza. Can you guys take a bite of your pizza, please? <laughs> we can take a bite of pizza. Take, well, just take, because just because you burnt it. your tongue doesn't mean we have to burn our yeah, tongue. It's right? not it's not hot, bro. It's been sitting there for like ten minutes. You guys haven't tried it, and I've been eating and letting you guys talk. What do you guys think? Be completely honest. Have you tried it before or no? This is my first time trying it. It's really good. It's cheese, good? Cheese is really good. Yeah, they're, dude, they're, like I said, they got, it's not, actually, I don't even know the setup, but for the most part, they have the the big ovens. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not, uh, I don't know if it's well, how they how they start them and stuff, but basically, it's kind of old school. The the, the, the style, the one they have is, is old. So it has that. With the brick oven and all that? Uh, yeah, I think that's what it is, something like that, yeah. And nice. basically, uh, it, it just cooks it up like, I remember this like this pizza this piece this piece of pizza mm-hmm. is like the same pizza that I remember when I was okay. growing yeah growing it like brings you back so like tying into that um, same with the haircut man like mm-hmm. you get a haircut say like me me personally I remember the first place that I actually remember that I liked going to where was it um, so there is a, a guy he I think he's still cutting but um, he's he's way he's he's older and. Uh, his name is Emilio. It's Emilio's Barbershop. Um, around here, a lot of the haircuts that, um, you know, me, being a, a young Hispanic uh, teenager, I, I saw by um, Hispanic artists, um, different styles and stuff, and those, those styles weren't easy to come by anywhere local. And so once you found someone that knows somewhat of that same cut that you want or somewhat of that, it's like, man, yeah, that's the person. That's what I've been looking for. Boom. So uh, my dad, me, I remember me and my dad, dude, my dad's, man, my dad, my dad and my mom, both awesome people. I know everyone's going to say that about their parents, but honestly, dude, like my dad, um, dude, he used to wait hours. Like you guys are going to think we're crazy. You guys are going to think, you know, damn, you'd waited that long. But we used to go in back, back then it was mostly walk-ins. It wasn't appointments. So... The whole appointment thing is whole is is new. Mm-hmm. It, it, life got real fast, and and the whole appointment thing's so new. And I love it. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I will not. I mean, we've talked about it before. There's no chance I'm coming here and sitting and waiting until I can come in. I'm oh, only no. coming here if you know what time when I know here, exactly what time I start. But I mean, I don't even go to the movies anymore without knowing exactly where I'm going to sit. No, exactly. That's true. That's very it, true. It's because it's because life nowadays life is real more fast paced. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fast paced. So like. Back then, um, oh, I'm doing it again. Sorry, guys. Um, back then, 
Um, we used to go at six in the morning when we'd go to Emilio's. Wow. Six in the morning. If you weren't there by six in the morning, you were going to be what you already had. That was before you opened. I, I don't remember if you opened at 6.30 or 7. If you didn't get there by or before 6 o'clock to stand in line, right, for 6.30 or 7 o'clock or whatever it was, you were going to be waiting because it was only one. He was he occasionally had a second guy, but he it was mm-hmm. usually just him and maybe another guy. Um, you were waiting for hours, dude. Like, I remember one time, I swear to God, my dad didn't even, like, Hey, mijo, do you want to go? Do you want to leave? Um, or, or, hey, we got to go. We got to no. He's always like, like real chill. He'd take a nap. He'd do, he, he would do the most to make, his, like, to make mm-hmm. me happy, you know, yeah. which is badass. That's what I remember about my dad. But uh, like four hours, dude. I waited four hours for a freaking haircut. And so like, um, like I said, nowadays, a lot of people, they, they don't have the time. Oh, and no. it's not that back then we did it, but back then there wasn't social media like how it is now. There wasn't this going on. Usually it was... You know, we're going to make a day out of it. We're going to go do this. I think everything was a little bit slower paced. And honestly, I personally do miss that about um, back then. I don't know how you guys feel, but I do miss just enjoying that moment, capturing that moment. That's kind of what you, yeah, like, make you realize, like, bro, don't think about this. Don't think about that. Just remember this. Enjoy this. Like, even if we mess up, even if the haircut isn't the haircut, like, it's not about... Um, what you think it's it's a different picture, and I feel like you you got that from Chewy. You're like, yeah. man, the haircut maybe like like you said maybe it wasn't that, but now you, that you got hooked, got um, you caught your attention. You come in and you're like, okay, man, like damn, like this is actually pretty cool. Very like I can cut myself in in the bathroom, but coming here, it's right. actually pretty cool. Right. So absolutely, yeah. Right. I actually, uh, I appreciate that, man. So it was it was a uh, it was a good thing. I feel like um, meeting you guys and. Having all this go on and, uh, like, now even talking about it, honestly, I didn't even remember that moment. It just, like, boom. Came right now. Yeah, swear to God. I love good. it. So, thank you, guys. That's good. Brought me back to my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know about you, Jim, but I think that's a good spot, good, good spot to wrap it up. I'd say so, man. We're because over an hour total uh, audio recording. Damn, it's already, it's almost 9 o'clock. Yeah. What time did we start? Like, 5? Yeah. <laughs> we started like at 5 o'clock. Pretty much, I'm sorry, yes. guys. 5, 5.30. And then yeah. that way we it's can pizza leave. pizza time, man. We, we can leave the rest of the audience wanting more later. I agree. Cause I can keep talking all day. Uh, yeah, we'll go till ten, eleven we, o'clock. We we so, won't we won't let people. That's right. Suffer that much. Should I wrap it up? Let's yep. wrap it up. All right, guys. So thank you guys for uh, for watching. Um, this was Shop Talk with Levano's Barber Lounge. Um, you want to say bye, Jim? Yeah, I've been Jim Lutis, Business Casually Podcast, and this is Chewy from CR Films. I love you guys. All right, see you guys. Thank you.